Eric Darling here with Darling Data and uh, continuing on with um, how I use uh, the SP Blitz scripts in my my day-to-day -day consulting life uh, along with all the other store procedures that we've talked about in this series some mine some others um, it would be kind of well um, can't can't not talk about these ones uh, one thing that's bothered me consistently over the last few videos is that uh, I am <laughs> always using my my O stress login <laughs> these SSMS windows for some reason I forget what I was testing but now I'm just like permanently logged in as O stress usually MSA because I'm, I'm like the coolest person who uses my demo VM so whatever but okay so uh, SP Blitz first is uh, pretty cool uh, a lot of the times I use SP pressure detector because it digs in a little bit further on some things that I usually end up having to troubleshoot. It gives me some additional data points and, you know, interesting things to look at. Uh, but I still do end up using SP Bliss first for uh, a, a number of different reasons. Uh, and also SP Blitz first in the sampled mode with the seconds is sort of what uh, propelled me to write SP underscore human events because... You know, SP Blitz first tells you what happened over a period of time. It doesn't tell you how it happened, right? It doesn't tell you what caused stuff um, for everything. So uh, I did, I, like, that's kind of, like a lot of why I wrote SP Human Events is like, okay, well, if like I spot something just absolutely crazy in that 10 second window, like, I, then I need to dig deeper and I want to be able to do that quickly without like, you know, like, like extended event gooeying things and being annoying and all that other, having to like parse S XML on the spot and all that other glorious nonsense that you have to do to work with the profiler's replacement. <laughs> it never gets old, does it? So, uh, I don't know. First, easiest way uh, to run SP Blitz first is just to use send startup. Uh, you'll get information about like what wait stats you've, you've accumulated, uh, what your files have been up to from a read and write perspective. Uh, you'll get uh, a bunch of perfmon counters. You'll get, holy mother of God, so many perfmon counters. Um, I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I, I, I rarely look at this except for like the bottom, like few couple few lines. The stuff that I usually look at in here is batch requests, um, compilations, and recompilations. Um, th there's just a lot of perfmon counters in here, and um, I, I just, I, I just don't always care about all of them enough uh, unless something like really just jumps out and screams like, hey, I'm real weird, <laughs> fix me. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff in here that I just tend to skip over because it, it's just, it's, a, it's, it's, it's sort of information overload a lot of the time. Uh, but the other way to run this is uh, to sample your server for a period of time. And the expert mode parameter is really extra useful here because this is what gets you um, a whole lot of extra result set stuff that you don't get if you just run it for uh, a, a number of uh, seconds. So the first thing that it does is actually runs SP Blitz Who. It's actually the first thing, the last thing that it does. Uh, SP Blitz Who is sort of a um, slightly less configurable version of SP Who is active. Um, Adam Mechanic once told me that SP Blitz Who is mostly right and I was pretty happy with that. So uh, if there were anything running on my server, it would have appeared up here and the results would have been mostly right. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the, second, the second section down is, uh, I believe, what Mr. O calls the headline news section. So anything of particular note that uh, SP Blitz first checks for would show up in here. So you know, kind of coming back to, again, like what sort of got me to write SP Human Events was, you know, just again, we're going to reuse the example. Let's say we had 400 batch requests a second and like 399 of them either compiled or recompiled. Then I would use SP Human Events to look at compilations, recompilations, and track down exactly which queries that was happening to so we could figure out why it happened, how to fix it, right? So if like, like that might be something that I did with, with SP Human Events to, um, digging on that you know other stuff that you know would show up in here would be like blocking long-running queries things like that so there's all sorts of stuff that like again like it tells you what happened but not like what caused it or why it happened right so like that's when i would use um sp human events to dig in on like blocking compiles recompiles wait stats or query performance speaking of wait stats 
the next section down is where you get all the waits that happened during that 10 second period. Again, my server isn't t t terribly busy, so there's nothing really all that interesting in here. Um, but you know, we do have we do have all that. Uh, if you're any of your anything happened to any of your drives, whether reads or writes, that would show up here. We would get all the perfmon counters that uh, happened during that window, um, and it would also. If we, you know, decided we really wanted to, like, examine the plan cache, we would be able to. We would be able to do that. Um, if I if I really wanted to look at the plan cache, though, I would probably just use SP Blitz cache. Uh, but also, like, I spend a lot of time these days avoiding the plan cache. I spend way more time in query store doing stuff because that's where there's just far more interesting things going on, better historical data, stuff like that. Uh, and then, of course, like I said before, the final thing that it would do is uh, run SP Blitz 2. And if anything were running here, it would show up uh, in this section and, again, be mostly right. Uh, so that's pretty much the way that I use SP Blitz first these days. Um, nothing, uh, nothing th that's been like pretty much the way I've used it like forever and ever. Uh, sometimes I might sample longer or shorter periods of time, kind of depending on uh, exactly what I'm trying to catch happening. But, you know, uh, this is a pretty good starting place for you to run SP Blitz first to start examining stuff on your servers. So, yeah, there's all that. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, vaguely, mildly enjoyed this video in some, some bizarre way. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you're wearing pants. Kinda. I mean, maybe. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to hit the like button. If you like this, and also if you like this video, you should hit the subscribe button so that when I, I make more videos that you will undoubtedly like, you will be alerted to them instantly. That would be, um, that would be the wisest choice that you ever made in your life. Humbly, my humble opinion, that would be the single smartest thing you could do. It wouldn't be, um, you know, learning a, a, a trade or it wouldn't be investing for retirement. It wouldn't be taking care of yourself, dieting and exercising, living a healthy lifestyle, it would be subscribing to my channel. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some more of these, I guess. I'm going to start uploading this one. No time like the present. So, uh, yeah, I will see you in another video at some point when Hyper-V Manager goes away. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, good. All right. Before I stick this landing too hard, thank you for watching.